The parking lot here at the Saudi Daisy Post Office has been congested all morning. Cars coming in and out to pick up their packages, and some residents tell us some of those packages have been sitting out in the rain. Our mail lady today was full of boxes. That's why she can't keep up with our mail. Post office employees directing traffic in a tight parking lot. I just wish that they could get some help. We had a bigger uh, parking lot and our mail carrier could get her some help because I do feel sorry for her. She goes wide open all day long. We first told you about Saudi Daisy residents not receiving their mail last week. And if they did receive it, it could have been left out in the rain. A problem residents say has not been resolved. Many of these men and women are working in conditions. Please hear me out. Uh, within the third district, in federal postal um, uh, buildings, uh, that are deficient. Today we saw people going to the post office to pick up packages that weren't delivered on time. And I fully sympathize with people who get packages as of we uh, that have been at times damaged or left out in the elements. U.S. Representative Chuck Fleischman says the post office is woefully understaffed. A spokesperson for USPS says, quote, we have no further updates to provide at this time. Local management remains fully committed to providing timely delivery of all mail and packages and reports that currently all mail is being delivered without delay. We sincerely apologize to our valued customer for any inconvenience caused due to the condition of their package. But it's just the reality that the overwhelming of the system based on the resources that they have, and that's people, is something that the post office is going to have to wrestle with for quite some time. In Saudi Daisy, I'm Jordan Karnback with News Channel 9. We basically stopped using our post office. Catherine McNeely says she's tired of defects when it comes to the way her packages arrive to her customers. We got a lovely email from the lady saying, wow, shipping was so fast. Unfortunately, it's mildewed. This cat carrier is one of the many items Catherine McNeely sells from her Saudi Daisy business on eBay. So I immediately, you know, refund the customer, apologize all over myself. And it sounded so outlandish that I actually took screenshots of some of your stories. And so it's going to sound crazy, but this is what's happening in my world. McNeely says her package was one of many left out in the rain at the Saudi Daisy post office. You can see from our News Channel 9 Skyview the stacks of undelivered mail from last week. I sat down to do the insurance claim and it kept telling me I had an invalid tracking number. She says when she picked up the phone to ask why. That they had relabeled the wet package. You can see from the USPS tracking, the package arrived at the Saudi Daisy Post Office on November 28th and went to the Chattanooga Processing Center on the 29th before being delivered in Michigan on the 30th. Who at the end of the day is responsible for Saudi Daisy? There's got to be somebody. Michelle Mason with the Better Business Bureau says USPS has an online complaint form you can fill out. The website will ask you to add information about your order, including your tracking number, something the BBB says is imperative if you want to file a claim with the shipper. If one is, is saying they're not responsible, try the other. And then if you're if you're both, if you're being told by both entities that they're not responsible, then at least with the shipper, you can file a complaint with BBB and it might help us get to more information that can help lead to an outcome. Reporting in Saudi Daisy, I'm Jordan Karnback with... We appreciate you choosing News Channel 9 as your source for local news. For updates on this story and other breaking news events, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. News Channel 9, depend on us.